Hi, it's Dan Herbert here with another quick tip. If I just select a MIDI track, what I can do is drag an audio clip directly onto that MIDI clip and it creates an instance of Simpler for us. I'm really liking the updates to Simpler in Ableton 9.5 and we've got a variety of different modes. So classic mode, which they've also updated with the time stretching algorithms as we've seen in clip view, but we've also got one shot as well as slice. Slice will automatically assign the different slices to the bottom part of your keyboard coming up from C1. However, one thing I've noticed when working with Simpler is related to the filter and the cutoff frequency. So let me just switch it back to classic and I'm going to go to controls. Now, although it says 22K or if I bring this down to, let's say around 200 Hertz, depending on what note you actually press is what frequency you'll actually get. So if you play higher than C3, then it's actually letting through frequencies higher than 208 hertz. Equally, if you play lower than C3 on your keyboard, the filter is closing, and that's because it defaults to having key tracking on. So if we turn that to zero, whatever note you play, the filter will be set at 208 hertz. So if you turn key tracking off, then this frequency value is what the actual filter is set to.